Yo, this is a ton of plays. Pokemon Violet. The Teal Mask. Yeah, it's DLC time, boys and girls and everyone watching. The base game is more or less done, but the DLC in this game is pretty big. In fact, it's two-parted as well, with a little epilogue at the end. So, you may be wondering, okay, I have the base game, but well, how do I get to the DLC part? It's very simple in this game. As you probably saw, we open the menu. At the bottom right says, downloadable content. Now, if you have already bought the content, or activated it, if you bought, let's say, a pre-coded thing, there should be a, a check mark next to the downloadable content box here, which means that the content is on and activated. For me, it's not there because I haven't bought it yet. This is just to show you what, ha what it looks like when you don't have it, and then when you have it. So, I'm just going to go and just get the DLC activated on this game. So, hold on a little second. So, as you can see here, we go to the menu. The Hidden Treasures of Area Zero. This is the downloadable content for this game. Part 1, the Teal Mask. This is the one that we are now just beginning. Then, we're going to do the Indigo Disc. So, regarding this let's play, as you can see, uh, if you watch on YouTube, I had this in different playlists. So, the Teal Mask is... Um, the one we're doing right now, then we're going to do Indigo Disc. I'll have the epilogue as well in the Indigo Disc part afterwards, because the, the epilogue is very small. Let's have that in Indigo Disc in the uh, very end. Because there's some stuff that sort of like connects the Indigo Disc and the epilogue as well, so we're just going to do those uh, together. Which means the Indigo Disc probably will be a lot longer than the Teal Mask. But the Teal Mask does have some interesting content, but Indigo Disc is just a lot more content, less story, but more content-wise. So. Check item details, you can look at the items, what happens when you buy the game. You get a new uniform as well, new spring, summer, autumn, and new winter uniform. New school hat, backpack, gloves, and all that are added when you buy the DLC. In addition. So when you go here, you go to Nintendo eShop to check the mobile content, which is what I'm going to do. Go to Nintendo eShop, so I'm just going to go and get the one fixed right now, activating the game. So, yeah, game will be restarted to activate downloadable content, no worries about it, you will see me do that here. Let's save the game. And there we go. So, I'll be right back in a bit. And we are back! So now I have fixed the DLC on this game, I have now uh, got the Completionist uh, saying it that it's been done, ready, and now it just told me restart the game to activate DLC. So back on the title screen. This is a title screen we'll be seeing uh, for a while as well, but it will change later on. You'll see when the time comes. You will notice it at least. Still a long time though. We go into the game, and this is what happens when you have the DLC activated. You get a phone call! Hello, hello, Zitano. This is Jack. Hi, Mr. Jack. Uh, sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, Zitano? Your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. You get to study and experience the great outdoors of the East, in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one, getting it as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again, so you should Really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. Nice. So, head to the entrance hall and get the thing started. Now, even though I said you don't have to, don't need to worry about it. There's no time limit here. You'll be able to go to it anytime you want after the deal's activated. You can, you can wait for a year if you want to. You can still go there after a year. So, just 
go there whenever you want to. No, let's gonna take a look. Just gonna connect to the internet because I wonder if we get the uniforms now or if we have to change afterwards. We'll see. Let's just connect to the internet. There we go. Now, also, now we see on the bottom right here now, you see now there's a check mark on the bottom right. This one wasn't there before. This means DLC is active and ready to go. And then we also see there's a gift box icon on the top right of the box, which signifies I probably have some items I can get. Next, the new uniform set not yet received. Then they say press the A button to receive it. Let's do it. Let's save a game to receive my apparel. Because this is a form comes in form of a mystery gift. Yeah! Very nice. You got some apparel. Nice. Now you see the box icon is gone. Let's check a look at our new items. So, this is the uniform we're using right now. This is the auto uniform. I like it a lot. I like the, the uniform set with shorts and a little cute little tie. And a vest. Spring uniform. This is the one that you start the game with, I think. No, not the one. Uh, it's summer uniform. Yeah, this one with a hat. Then you also have the winter uniform, which is more of a full set. Looks pretty nice as well. Now let's take a look at the new uniform. Let's go at the spring one, the new one. This one looks pretty nice. It looks a bit like the other uniform, but with a bit more auto colored or set. Some uniform now looks like this. The new autumn uniform looks like this. Oh wow, that's uh, flashy, flamboyant. Then the winter uniform looks like this. Oh, very flamboyant too. I like the spring one a lot. The spring lot looks a lot like one I already have from before, so let's just use that one. Change some new stuff, new school socks, it's new. School tights as well. Oh wow. Um. I think the uh, gr school, the great crew socks is fine. School shoes and new school loafers. I like the school shoes. Actually, never mind, the performance sneakers better. How about some gloves, the school gloves, and the new ones? Mm, I like the old ones better. Now the school backpack. So I disliked the backpack in uh, in Sword and Shield. It was too big. The school backpack looks nice. I like the canvas backpack. It looks like a Pokeball. How about new school backpack? Mm, it's not bad, but it's a bit plain. It fits the color of the uh, of the uniform, though, but I like this one better. Hats, this is the school hat we always start with, which looks a bit big. How about the new one, though? The school helmet. Looks okay. What about new school hat? Ah, just different color. Nah, we're not going to have one. Glasses are not going to use, and we're still in the default case. So let's go with this. There we go. Now, we won't be using this new cool set for long though, because we will get a new set in Kitakami. Alright, enough uh, clothing, let's get going. So, we were told to go to the uh, entrance hall at the academy. Let's go to Yuva Academy right away. And let's find out how do we even get there and how do we even progress there as well. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Here we are at the Yuva Academy. Let's just head straight into school and find out how we get to Kitakami. Which is the area we're going to spend the time in in this first part of the DLC. Who is this? Hmm, are you? Oh, you must be. 
You and the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Sitano, ma'am. Sitano, huh? Well, aren't you a polite one? You are positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a terror orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to become a side at school. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? Oh, but here I go on and on. I haven't introduced myself. Call me... Miss Brewer! I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, Asitano. What a lucky scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring here. I'm sure I'm happy for you. Uh, I wish I could go too. Ahem! <coughs> uh, oh, um, I'm sorry, Miss Brewer. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jack so kind of stated for me, my name is Brewer. I'm a teacher over at the Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region, you know. Miss Brewer helps set the curriculum there. This year's Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kirakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, yes. Well, there's, um, not much I can do about that with permission from the Pokemon League and Dr. Clavel. Oh, I know. I already put in the all proper applications. I trust I'll get a favorable response soon. Ah, uh, well, hmm. Oh, um, sorry, Satano. Um, forget all about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. Think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale, to search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app, if you get your out your phone. And now we get a kid coming Pokedex, because uh, as with the old DLC in Sword and Shield, as with Scarlet and Violet, some Pokemon from the past is now available to be caught and registered in the Pokedex. Now, of course, you can also use Pokemon Home and transfer Pokemon if you want to do that instead. But they will all be capturable in Scarlet and Violet in the Kitakami region. And there we go. All done. Now you can go while registering all the Pokemon you find around Kitakami too. Oh, and... Uh, don't worry about the permission to stay from the trip. Or you clear things with your mom. You just go and have fun. Haha! <laughs> your Mrs. Jacques is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Zitano. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying. Or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? So yeah, uh, you get a new Pokedex, so if you just go to the Pokedex menu. And now you have two versions. Or you see some Pokemon in Pokedex, or they have been caught and battled here as well, because yeah, there are some Pokemon that are available in both regions. And also if you've already been transferring Pokemon, Maybe some Pokemon, for example, that you have found or gotten in Terror Raid Battles, for example, 7 star Terror Raid Battles, then there's a chance you might already find them here. They might be available right away. But yeah, some Pokemon are available in both regions, you'll see them here as well, they will be shared. 
But there's a lot of other Pokemon that are in the Kitakami Pokedex that won't be in the regular Pokedex, just so you know. Are you ready to set up for Kitakami, Sitano? Yes. Great! We'll set up to get as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you were all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun on my own while I'm at it, just so you're aware. By the way, do you know of the Violet Book? I know it. As you should. It was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Violet Book Heat was in fact an ancestor of mine. I even have his original manuscript. Look here. These are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. So we get some hints now for the new Pokemon we'll be meeting in the DLC, both in the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc. This one is titled A Disc Pokemon. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I don't know. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than a gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. I attentively named this creature Terrapagos. I suspect its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokémon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokémon the side of these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokémon Heat Elgin will encounter when he delves even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heat's records were all true. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. But that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is to focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Breer, we're ready to go! Looks like the gang's all here. Alright everyone, to the land of Kitakami! So yeah, this is a plane ride. It's not connected to the actual land of Paldea itself. We're driving to another continent, I guess you can call it, or area. And Hidden Zeros, Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. That's the name of the DLC, and this is part one, the Teal Mask. Which is indeed a very important item in this DLC. You will learn more, not that long actually. So here we are. We're finally here! My pad is killing me after all those hours sitting. First the plane, then the bus. Ha ha ha! Well, you all survived a long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. All here! Then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is a stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you have out in nature. This is Yamna's here. It's actually my first time here too. Why, the rice fields really are just dazzling. Yeah, I probably know this in the name and you will see in the region as well that I think this region is heavily inspired by, um, I would say, countryside Japan. With rice fields, these are the buildings, some festivals, and even clothing of people. Yeah, I would say this is a very like countryside Japan heavily inspired area. But it's nice though. Up ahead is Musui Town. That'll be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. Miss Breer, I don't feel so good. Uh oh, 
Oh, that child must give you a dose of motion sickness. Hmm. Why don't we pause here for a moment and take you on the side of these fields? Now, Titano, I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead to the community center in Mosul and let the caretaker know we're here? It would be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. I can do that. I knew I'd be able to count on you. On your way then. I look after your poor travel buddy here. And there we go. So this poor kid not feeling well. They're gonna wait here and help him. So here we go guys. Here we are. This is the Kitakami region. Before we end this episode, here is a brief looking at the map. So uh, first of all, when you enter the map, you can switch between the maps with the L and R buttons to switch between Paldea and Kitakami. You can also use using flying taxis as well in between the zones. You don't have to like go to a special area to go to the other area to get to, other, to the place. So you can switch anytime you want. Very easy. So Kitakami Road is where we're going to go to. go up here to Mosui Town to meet um, the people there. And then you see there's a uh, region here, Loyalty Plaza, which we're going to place where we spend a lot of time in. We have some region to the east and west, Revelers Road, the Kitakami Hall we're going to spend some time in. You have the mountains here, Oni Mountain, the Dreaded Den, Oni's Maw, the Crystal Pool, which is very important. If we uh, zoom out as well. We have some areas here, the Water Wistful Fields, Inferno Pass, Paradise Barrens. There's a lot of shinks going on here. Kitakami Wilds, Timeless Woods, Fellhorn Gorge, Mosfell Confluence. Yeah, this place, as you can see here, has some good regions. It's the size, oh, I would say, is maybe like a... F probably the size of um, a fourth or third of Paldea itself. It's a good size. Alright, so there we go. We have arrived at Kitakami. What happens now? Who will we meet? What Pokemon will we find? And will there be new Pokemon in this uh, DLC too? Oh yes, there will be, but when will we meet them? And who are they? And are they good? Are they legendary? Are they common? Are they new regions? We will see. Because the Teal Mask DLC has begun. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's complete for now. See you guys next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Violet the Teal Mask continues.